we are constructing confidence interval for population proportion. In this example, I want to know what is the proportion of US adults who think people over 65 are more dangerous drivers than teenagers. That's a very general question. It targets the population. So as a statistician, we take a random sample. Suppose in a survey, random survey of 498 US adults, 25%, guys, note that I'm using percent, said they think people over 65 are more dangerous drivers. But what is the true population proportion? It just belongs to this random sample. Well, we need to follow the steps and build a confidence interval. So in the step one, we need to find a point estimate for sample proportion. I have the sample size, but I don't know how many said yes. But I don't need that. Why is that? Because I have 25% of 498 already said they think people over 65 are more dangerous drivers. So my P hat is already calculated for me. This is my P hat, 25% or 0.25. In step two, I don't have any information about the level of confidence. So by default, I select 95%. C is 95% and ZC is 1.96. Now I'm allowed to go to the next step, step three, find the margin of error. In the third step, the margin of error is equal to ZC times square root of P hat one minus p hat divided by n. It means that I have to multiply 1.96 by radical p hat, which is 25%, 0 0.25, parenthesis, one minus 0 0.25 divided by n. n is equal to 498. This is my sample size. Where we go? What is this distance? So approximately we have 0.04 or 4%. Or 4% is the distance from 25%. So now we are allowed to go to the last step, step four. Now we're almost done. CI or confidence interval is equal to P hat minus the distance. P hat is 25%, point 0.25 minus point. 0 0.04 and 0.25 plus 0 0.04, which is approximately 0.21 and 0.29. But what's the meaning of that? We need to use the, a couple of sentences, right? We are 95% confident that the population proportion of US adults who think people over 65 are more dangerous 
drivers is in between 21% to 29%.